Hey and welcome back. Today we're gonna do another tutorial how to do seamless material but today it's gonna be wood. I got a request on my YouTube on the comments to do wood so we're doing wood. So basically uh, we're gonna do this material. I just wanna explain a little bit about it. So basically uh, this is like a veneer material. So veneer is very 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 thin layers of wood that like take off of the wood yeah, you can check about it and they stick it on to plywood it's very common to have in kitchens and cabinets in the house veneer finish of a veneer because uh, um, pieces of wood when it's whole wood sometimes it bends with the year and with the time and the moist so they take like a plywood and they glue that on top of it so that's it's a very common material and I I've been using it a lot so um, here's an example for a kitchen material online and I search <laughs> texture wood texture I found this material on the second page so uh, Pixabay and I download it and uh, I took it into Photoshop and before I get started I want to do the next video I'm gonna show you a little trick how to take like a finished material like this and to create a different shade so that'll be the next video but this video we're gonna take that wood and we're gonna do it so let's get started so this is the original uh, original image and as you can see it's not tiled if I go to other offset and you can see here the line this side is a little bit better the connection the the, the scene but here it's like really really bad so not really really bad but so let's get started okay I I, I open the the background same process like last time image canvas size and I'm gonna change it to percent I'm gonna put a hundred percent and a hundred and a hundred percent and now I gonna take the the move tool the V uh, yeah and I with alt clicking alt I'm gonna make a copy right there and I'm gonna control T free transform and I gonna uh, flip horizontal so I'm just gonna put it like here just like that and same process I'm gonna take the the um, the mask take the brush and clean up a little bit just like that maybe a tiny bit more now um, I, I'm not sure if it's able to see but I feel like if I move it a little bit more it will look a little bit better sometimes when you tiling materials it has like a certain spot like it's the sweet spot maybe we can erase a tiny bit more so I feel now it's pretty decent it looks good I'm gonna take both of them same process double it put in it put it in a, in, a, in a group drag it take the the move tool drag it right down control T and I'm gonna flip it vertical and I'm gonna drag it right on top of this a little bit and we're gonna put another layer mask and clean a little bit better the the, the seam the th seam now as you can see there is like a line here that's a little bit more a little bit more uh, visible also here so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put them one each on top of each other so we don't have two lines that's so harsh okay so at this point I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut the the image just like that okay so if you look carefully you can see on the sides it's a little bit more bright there is like a little bit more light and I don't want it to be like that I want it to be all the same material all the same the same tone so what I'm gonna do now because I want the reflection to co come from the VR whatever material whatever software I use so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna merge all the layers control shift E and I'm gonna make a copy of this um, merge of all the layers I'm gonna go to filter 
other offset and I'm not going to do it on I'm not going to offset it on the vertical because we saw it, it works a little pretty pretty good on the vertical side I'm just going to do it on the hor hor horizontal horizontal sorry on my broken English um, I'm just going to do it and I'm going to bring it to the middle so you see this the theme where it used to be on the sides so now it's in the middle so if I shut this down I have it here with the colors on the side and another layer where the the lighter color is in the center and now when it's like that I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm gonna put a layer mask and I'm gonna just just like that just gonna blur it in so I don't have any uh, lighter color inside just want the, the, the dark color okay so now okay so now it's pretty much uh, ready what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another Control shift E I'm gonna merge it again and I'm gonna try to uh, offset it a little bit to see how it looks if I have something that I want to fix so here it's a little bit weird so I'm gonna fix this I'm just gonna press OK and I'm gonna use my clone tool and my stamp tool I'm just gonna fix this part a little bit Okay, so this is pretty much ready. Um, I'm just gonna export it. I'm gonna go export, quick PNG, and I did a few, I tried it a few times, so I'm gonna do, uh, let's call it four. And now I'm gonna go into my software, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna rotate it so, I will come in the same directions direction so I'm just gonna open here and I'm gonna go here and I right click here and I'm gonna go and rotate it now when I click you can see I have this nice veneer wood material so thank you for watching please like and subscribe um, if you want any more tutorials specifically on the material just let me know I'm gonna try do my best and the next video I, I would really like to make a video how to make a few options with this material just different tones so have a good one keep it real and I'll see you in the next video